Hello, this is Eva from Soul GPS. Welcome. In today's video, what I wanted to do is to share with you a key to helping you unlock your self-forgiveness. If you have been in an abusive relationship or have been raised and grew up in an abusive, dysfunctional family, you probably hold a lot of guilt in your cells. And that is because you've been trained to take the blame for a lot of what has happened. As a result, you're walking around with all of these heavy emotions deeply stored within your cells, and it can be very difficult to release them. Why? The reason why is because the memory of has happened is still haunting you. And oftentimes, many of us think, I remember I used to think that, is in order to forgive myself, I would need to let go of what happened. I would need to let go of the past. But the past and what happened in the past is part of my life. It's part of my story. It's part of who I am. However, I discovered something really interesting and I really wanted to share this with you. And that is oftentimes when we look back at what happened, the story gets edited. It is not exactly what happened, it is what we believe that happened or how we perceive the past based on what we know today. So it is not exactly the truth, but rather it is a version of the truth that we tell ourselves. We need to add to it one more component that is really important and that is the self-blame and the guilt that we hold within ourselves. Well, that is going to affect the way that the story goes. It's going to skew it towards the negative, meaning the way we're going to look at our past is that we screwed up, we messed up, we did something really awful. Mistakes happen. All of us make mistakes. We're meant to make mistakes so we can learn. There's nothing wrong with making mistakes. There's nothing wrong with generating learning opportunities for ourselves. There's nothing wrong with trying. There's really nothing wrong with anything you did. You were just trying your best. And that is the key to unlocking your self-forgiveness. It is in the understanding that in order to forgive yourself, you don't need to let go of your past. You need to really carefully look at the story you've been telling yourself and let go of the story. Not what happened. What happened is already part of your life. It's part of your biography. And it's okay. You've done nothing wrong. You did your best. Here's the catch. When we get to a certain point in our education, in our healing, in our knowledge, in our understanding of how things should be, so we compare the dysfunction to a healthy relationship or healthy way of being, something we aspire to, something we want to get to in our healing process and know that it's a process, it takes time, it's actually more of a lifestyle that unfolds. But when we get to a certain point where we know so much more than we used to in the past, we will have this tendency to look at our past and then scrutinize our actions and say, I was so stupid that I said that, or I shouldn't have done it. That was like the dumbest thing. Or why did I stay with this person for so long? They were abusing me. Or I could feel that there was something wrong. There were some red flags. I was being warned, but still I went into the lion's den and I let him abuse me or let her abuse me. Or I knew that this person was lying and I listened anyway. Or I didn't really want to go out that night and I did it anyway. Or I had a feeling that something wrong was going to happen and indeed it did. Why didn't I listen and went the other way? Right? All of these editing self-flagellations self that we do after the fact from the vantage point of hindsight, from the vantage point of coming from a place that has so much more data available than we had at the time. So here's what I would like for you to realize, understand, and really take in. Here's my message to you because 
that can be truly liberating and allow you to take the step towards unlocking the door to forgiving yourself and shedding all of that weight you've been carrying for so long that's been weighing you down in the form of emotional abuse. And it's in itself abuse because it's the story that generates the feelings that continues to reaffirm the story. And as we walk around with the story and the feelings stored in our bodies, the reality tends to confirm to us that that is indeed the case that we did something wrong, that we are wrong, right? Because the way we interact is we come from this place in which our bodies and our minds have a need to confirm the reality of the belief that we're holding. I hope it makes sense. It's like a, it's like a feedback loop that keeps reinforcing itself. And we can get caught up in that for years sometimes. So the way to unlock this process is to realize that at the time when you made the so-called mistake, which by the way, made you so much smarter, made you learn so much more about yourself. Sure. It made you go on a different path, but there are some benefits to extract from this, right? You can extract those benefits. You're doing that in the process of your healing. You're becoming conscious of your past, but during the time when you made the so-called mistake, you did the best that you could with the data that you had. Had you been able to go back and do it again, you would have done it differently, which is why so many of us say, you know, we reach 50 years old and we go, ah, I wish I knew this when I was 25. My life would have looked so different, right? No one's exempt of that. We all have a similar thought when it comes to this. All of us would have loved to know what we know now 10 years ago. That's impossible. <laughs> Just like what we know now is what we know now. In the next 10 years, we're going to know so much more. Our learning capacity is constantly increasing. Our experiences are deepening. So forgive yourself for having done what you did a year ago, a month ago, a week ago, whenever, whatever the event that you've been beating yourself over so much. Forgive yourself because what you did was the best decision, hands down, the best decision you could have done given what you knew at the time. And that's okay. You did your best. And now you know better. And next time you're going to do something else. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we evolve. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, any thoughts, about self-forgiveness, any other tips that maybe you could share with us about what you do in order to let go of the story. It's usually the negative story, the, automa the automated negative perception that we've built over the years from years of abuse and being exposed to negative thinking. That's what happens and we can let go of it. It's a habit. That's what it is. It's a habit. We keep habitually beating ourselves up. But when you really pull the curtain away and you really look at what happened and you drop the story of beating yourself up, you realize that genuinely you did the best you could. So thank you again for your attention. I hope this was helpful. Uh, comment, share, subscribe, like. The more you like, it really helps me because then it makes the message go out to a larger audience. So if you do so, thank you so much. And I look forward to connecting with you again next time. Bye-bye.